Hey guys, it's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my new subscribers. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some crystal crafting with these beautiful products from Panda Hole Selected. So, let's get started. Hey guys, how are ya? So first off, I just want to thank Panda Hole Selected for sponsoring this video. Their website will be in the description below, of course, as well as these products, the crystals, and the whole um, mini bottle kit. And I have a code, Marisa, and you could save $6 off orders, $59 and over. So I'm really happy to be able to give you that coupon. So here are the... I actually made one already so this is like an ornament or you can use it as a necklace so of course today I'm going to show you how to make it it's really really easy you can do a lot with these bottles and crystals and here is one without the little um, hook and necklace or the twine here are these beautiful crystals so of course we have the beautiful rose quartz and we have the amethyst and I absolutely am enjoying these so much and here is the are the bottles you have the larger size you have two medium sizes so all four all together different sizes you have of course three different sizes of corks and you have two different sizes of the eye hooks and you have the twine and I forgot to bring the twine out so I'll be right okay guys so I am back here is the twine I'm sorry it also comes with the mini bottle kit and here's the whole kit and we're gonna make one of those with these beautiful crystals so let's move some of this stuff out of the way for now because I want to bring out my very special book again my grimoire that I brought out for Halloween when I did my uh, resin wands okay so this is a book of information about crystals and herbs but we're gonna go over amethyst a little deeper so here's a beautiful amethyst again gorgeous all different colors and sizes and shapes so it's all around healer it enhances awareness and vision and all around healer provides spiritual guidance aids in dream work grounding can be carried for protection manifesting love fosters harmony and growth and transformation stability and strength and channels opens channels for communication so it is a wonderful crystal and i have my little leaf there it has my bookmark so here's the rose quartz and very uniform in color you have lighter and darker shades and beautiful sizes so rose quartz is a powerful amplifier for magic to be worn on or placed on the altar we place it on part of the body to aid healing if you keep it close to your and visualize open up your heart chakra during the day and it can aid in sleep for sleep if you add four pieces in each corner of your bed it is a powerful amplifier for magic so there is the rose quartz so I of course and going to be making quite a few things but I'm also going to be adding some grounding oil that I made myself with herbs and spices and some rosemary oil and I also have this very special tea blend or herb blend it has so many different herbs in it rose hips and peppermint orange peel and rose and chamomile and angelica root we're not going over all of these uh, herbs today because that is a lot but I'm going to be adding it to the crystals with the oils as um, a different way to use these mini bottles with the crystals so I'm going to get started making the crafting with crystals today I'm so excited and I love all these kits I love them so much okay guys let's get started with the crafting so of course here again is the one I already made it's really really easy to make and I use both of the crystals in this bottle with the twine and the eye hook and this one does not have the eye hook or the twine and you can use it also as just a display you don't have to hang it or wear it on your body you can use it as a display 
So we're going to start off with the larger bottle, the largest bottle. And we are going to get out the herbs. It has also has lavender in it as well. Um, so this is a beautiful blend and it smells so good. So you could use a funnel, but me, I'm just going to use my hands because I love just doing things with my hands. So I'm just kind of placing all the herbs in there. Um, you can use any herb you want. If you choose to use herbs with your crystals, I think it's a beautiful amplifier for your crystals. And you can put some beautiful intention in here. So, I am feeling, with this herb blend right now, I am feeling the amethyst. I'm going to take all different sizes of the amethyst and from each of the little compartments there just to get a variety of color and shape and size and fill it all the way up to the top. I'm just going to keep on adding until I feel like it's done. And that's it. I'm just going to put a little more to fill it all the way up to the top, and there you go. And you're going to put on your cork, make sure you have the right size, the largest size, and then you're going to take the larger eye hook, and there's the two sizes, the smaller one and the larger one, but the larger one is definitely, uh, you know, proper for this one. And just kind of make a little hole in there. I have big old fingers, so sometimes it's hard for me to grip little things. So you keep on twisting it and twisting it until it's all the way down. Make sure it's very secure because you, if you are hanging it or you're wearing it, you don't want it to pop off. But also you want to be able to open it. So if you want to change out your crystals or add something to it, if you want to add an oil to it or different herbs, you can definitely reuse these bottles as well. So now we're going to take our twine and it could be any length you want. I just have to get my scissors. And we are going to cut off a piece. You can make it as long or short as you want. Take the twine. And I just like use a little, you know, I just kind of make the edges a little smoother so it goes through the hole a little easier. Pull it through. Make sure that it is balanced and at the same length. And then you are going to tie it. Now, if you want to add beads to this, you could do that. Um, you can add anything you want to the twine. I think this twine's a little too thick for beading, quite frankly. Um, and then you're just going to snip off the edge so it looks really nice and finished. And it is simple as that. There you have your ornament or a necklace. So now we're going to go on to the next size. So there's two medium sizes. So I'm going to take uh, a little bit more of the herbs. I'm going to use the same herb blend. Now this, uh, the, um, mouth of the bottle is not as wide, obviously. This is the medium size, so I'm just taking f a few pieces in there. And then I am, oh, I am getting my stick because I just want to shove it in. Sorry, the stick is a little dirty, but that was the one I could get uh, quickly. Anyway, so now I'm going to use the rose quartz only. So you can mix the two. Now, very important, don't try and stick in um, a larger size crystal because it will get stuck. It did happen to me. So you have to kind of fish through the different compartments and find smaller pieces for the medium and smaller bottle sizes, okay? That's very important. You don't want to get it stuck. All right, so here it is filled up. And we're going to get the medium sized cork and we're going to take the eye hook and do the same thing. Just make a little hole and start again. My fingers are so big and my hands are so big, but just get a good grip on it. It doesn't take long. You just need to get a good little start to it and keep on screwing it and turning it until it is absolutely 100% secure so it doesn't fly off and you don't want that to happen and lose your crystals. All right, so I'm not gonna use that twine. You could also use different cords, okay? Because for me, I can't use that um, twine around my neck. Uh, it, it's very itchy to me, so that's why I'm making ornaments with the twine, but you can use different colors, you can use color associations as well um, for your cords to add a little bit 
a different layer of intention to your mini glass bottles with the herbs and crystals. So I'm just tying a knot with my little fat fingers there. So I have a purple um, cord and a black cord and you're just gonna snip it off and make it really look nice and pretty. And there you have it. You have the rose quartz with the herbs and then you can use any color cord you want. All right, so let's move the twine out of the way. We're gonna put that down. So this is the next bottle here. All right, so that's another. So that is the shorter, stouter bottle. Okay, and we are gonna add different crystals this time. Um, again, this is a smaller bottle there. You have to like really fish out different crystal shapes to make sure it fits. So instead, I am going to use some of my own uh, crystal chips I have. It's very easy to put right in there. Again, I'm just using my hands, but you can use a little funnel, like a little piece of paper, and you can make it into a funnel and just slip in the crystals. And I'm just taking the bottle of the crystals and putting it right in, and it's actually working perfectly. Okay. And then you can put your little cork on, and of course you could put your little pin. But before we do that, I am going to actually add some rosemary oil to my crystal chips. Just a few drops in there. Put the cork back on and give it a good shake and just add it around the crystals. And there you have another way of using the mini bottles. And let's just cover that up because you don't want it to fly all over the place. And you can also use it as a, you could store your crystals as well, okay? You could put a little label on these little bottles and you can use it to just store your crystals. So here is the smallest one and here's the smallest eye hook. So the, this twine is not going to fit through that eye hook. It's just not. It's too big. So I am going to add this grounding oil I made with cloves and cinnamon. And I'm taking that eyedropper right in there into the small. This is the smallest bottle. And this is perfect for oils. Because let's say you're having a stressful day, you have this wonderful grounding oil around your neck, you can open up the little cork and you can give it a nice whiff, a nice smell, really inhale it, and it will ground you and alleviate your stress. I'm gonna put that cork really well on there. Let's close this oil so it doesn't spill. And of course, we are going to take the little eye hook and, you know, get that guy in there. Okay, so we can put that in and that is that. And you can use a cord, a thinner one than that. If that's not also going to go through, but you use a thinner cord and you wear it around your neck. And I love this. Hey guys, so today I am inviting you into my very own apothecary cabinet and shelves. And this is where I decided to display all the crystals and the bottles that I made today. Here are all the different sizes with the corks. I just love the way they all came out. They're so, so beautiful. Here is a part of my apothecary. And here are the beautiful bottles that I made hanging from this wonderful tree branch I found right near my home. I just love the way this looks. It is so beautiful all the different sizes and shapes of the crystals and the herbs are just beautifully displayed with my other herbs and just gorgeous. I am just so happy with this whole set. I'm having so much fun with it. This is great for gift giving and putting in some wonderful intention and here is another shelf of my apothecary. There is some of my other crystals, some oils I created, my mortar and pestle, um, herbs and oils and all kinds of beautiful stuff and candles, 
little oil burner, some potpourri, and that are some there are some crystal grids and my wands that I made for Halloween. So there is the whole set, guys. Here is my beautiful display of crystals. I really hope you enjoyed this very, very simple tutorial of how you can use these mini bottles with crystals, herbs, and oils for crafting and making some beautiful gifts for yourself and others. So thank you so much, guys, for watching today. I really appreciate you. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.